So welcome back to ActiveX Backs. The question today is, should I be concerned that my lower back pain or sciatica could be due to some underlying medical condition? Well, the first thing I'd like to say is, please be reassured, it's highly unlikely. Uh, it's about a one in 200 chance, one in every 200 people with lower back pain do have an underlying medical condition. So the chances are you really shouldn't be concerned and I only provide this video in order to reassure you that the chances are extremely slim. Now underneath this video there are a series of questions, we call them red flag questions. So clinicians call them red flags because they flag up to us. If you answer yes to any of these questions, perhaps we should be diving, well we should be diving a little bit deeper into that issue to establish should you be along seeing your family doctor or other registered medical practitioner. So have a look at the questions, answer them all honestly. If the answer is yes, don't be massively concerned. If the answer to, uh, to many of them is yes, then almost certainly you should be consulting a medical professional. But usually these questions are best reviewed by a qualified health practitioner who specializes in lower back problems such as myself. So if you do answer yes, that isn't an indication to me that things are really nasty, but it's certainly an indication to me that I need to be asking you more in-depth questions on that particular topic. So answer the questions and if the answer is yes, reach out to someone, uh, the answer to any of them is yes, then reach out to someone such as myself for a little bit more guidance or go direct to your family doctor for that reassurance. So remember, only one in every 200 people with lower back pain has an underlying medical condition. So please be reassured, use the questions wisely and um, you can either find them below this video or on our blog at active-x.co.uk. And in the meantime, don't forget to ActiveX. Thank you.